What is up, guys? Welcome back to the Wildcast. Hope you're all doing well out there. In this video, we're going to be talking about the latest update we have from the Jura 50 controversy that we've been talking about. In our last video, we talked about how Judge Nathan, who was the judge overseeing the trial, who oversaw the trial of Ghislaine Maxwell, she ordered Jura 50 to come and answer some directed questions that will be posed by her on March 8th. So there's a hearing set where Scotty David, aka Jura 50, has to show up in court and answer some questions regarding his Jura questionnaire, which Gillen Maxwell's side claims that he lied on. Okay, And the judge also uh, found that there's enough discrepancies in his interviews that he gave after that uh, after the trial um, that she needs to question him. So she decided that we sh he should be questioned to determine whether he actually lied there on purpose or not. Now, the latest development here is that his lawyer, Todd Spodek of Spodek Law Group, has filed this filing saying that Juror 50 um, is going to take the Fifth Amendment in that hearing. <laughs> and the government responded, of course. Now, there's a way to get around this. The Fifth Amendment is basically uh, a way for people to not self-incriminate. That's what the Fifth Amendment says. It's your right to not incriminate yourself in relation to a specific crime. Okay, that part is not enumerated specifically, but that's understood. And usually it's taken in criminal trials, although there are circumstances where civil litig civil defendants can also take it. As I've explained in my other videos, the law is a little bit you know, complicated and messy, but nevertheless, there are circumstances where that's done. But usually it's in a criminal trial that people take the Fifth Amendment. But um, anyways, there's a way to get around that. And the then the government uh, filed a paper right afterward saying that uh, they're going to they're going to uh, compel him to testify under 18 U.S. Code 6002 and 6003 um, to get his testimony during the hearing. Um, so so this has been filed for Judge Nathan to consider. So I want to go over exactly what's happening here. First, I want to go over the law. Then I want to explain why in the world he would be taking the uh, Fifth Amendment here. OK, so, so there are a couple of possibilities. We're going to go through all of them. So first, the law. So uh, 18 U.S. Code 6002 has to do with immunity given to people who, who, who are to be questioned by the court. So usually this is done when the prosecutors or the judge want the testimony of a person uh, that is a that has committed a lesser crime. So they give them immunity from any prosecution to get their testimony. So this is normal stuff. Um, and uh, 603 has to do with a similar thing. Uh, and uh, the authorities in question, whether it be the attorney general or the presiding judge, gives them immunity, uh, according to CEO, uh, uh, 6002 to get their testimony. So basically, both of these things have to do with getting the testimony uh, from people who are reluctant to testify at a grand jury hearing or at a hearing like the one we're going to have or other, you know, um, legal proceedings. So this is what it says. Whenever a witness refuses on the basis of his privilege against self-incrimination, the Fifth Amendment, to testify or provide other information in, res in a proceeding before uh, any of these groups, whether it come to a court or a grand jury, of the United States or an agency of the United States, either House of Congress, Senate or House, um, and the person presiding over the proceeding communicates to the witness an order issued under this title, the witness may not refuse to comply with the order on the basis of his privilege against self-incrimination, but no testimony or other information compelled under the order may be used against the witness uh, in any criminal case except a prosecution for perjury, uh, giving a false statement or otherwise failing to comply with the order. So th what this basically says is that we are going to give you immunity for this testimony as long as you tell the truth. If, if they find out that they lied after even getting this exception under this rule, they still lied, then they can be charged for perjury again. OK, now, the funny thing is, it's ironic because he could be accused of perjury if he actually lied on the juror questionnaire. So that's ironic. But nevertheless, he can be charged with actual perjury if he lies to the court now, right now, after getting this immunity. You can't lie under immunity. Then the prosecutors will actually prosecute you and the judge will not be very friendly to you. OK, so so the reason they're doing it is obvious because the the real criminal here is Ghislaine Maxwell and if there was a problem with the jury selection process the prosecutors want to know about it so that's why they're willing to give him immunity to get his answers to saying that hey we're not going to prosecute you even if you you know did something that might have been you know uh, wrong during the jury selection process I think he just messed up but that's my personal opinion so now let's talk about the uh, possibilities as to why we think 
why I think he's taking the Fifth Amendment. So I think there are two possibilities here, okay? Possibility number one and most likely thing is that this was simply a legal tactic by the lawyer here to get him immunity, right? Uh, and and you, you want to get immunity no matter what before you speak, so you can't even potentially be charged with anything. So it's a tactic done by defense lawyers where they try to get their clients immunity from prosecution, even if they didn't do anything wrong. So this, this is a legal tactic that's used. And uh, I think Michael Cohen also used this before he testified in front of the House. He in initially took the fifth, and then later on, he started singing uh, like a bird. Um, but nevertheless, this tactic worked. So what happened? He asked for the fifth and right away the government came out and said, we'll give you immunity as long as you testify. Right. So his legal tactic worked. OK, that's possibility number one. I think that's what's happening here. Uh, a, a much more distant possibility is that he's actually guilty. He lied on purpose on the juror questionnaire because he wanted to sit on this trial because he hated Gillian Maxwell and wanted to get back at her or something. I don't that that's like a one like zero point five percent possibility of that being true. The more likely scenario is that he didn't really pay attention to what he was uh, answering on the voir dire questionnaire and he didn't properly interpret the question regarding if you've been a victim of a crime which is the question the question on the questionnaire that's in question now the gill and maxwell side is saying he lied on that question about being a victim of a crime because he then came out and said that he was a victim of abuse later so they're saying the gill and maxwell side is saying that scotty david here lied on the questionnaire but i don't think that's true i think that he made a mistake uh, and he misinterpreted the question, which happens like jurors, they're not legal experts. They don't understand, um, you know, they don't interpret the questions the same way that a lawyer would um, or somebody who's familiar with the law. So I think he made a mistake. That's my interpretation. But anyways, um, I think those two are the most likely scenarios that he either lied or his um, his lawyer is doing a legal maneuver to get him immunity. And it worked. OK, so the judge will have to approve this, uh, this ask by the prosecutors to grant uh, the uh, Section 6002 uh, immunity to him. Most likely he will get immunity because they're not going to like separately prosecute him for getting something wrong uh, on on a on a questionnaire. They're not going to prosecute him separately for that. So giving him Im immunity is nothing, not a big deal for the prosecutors because he didn't commit some horrible crime where he where he did something violent. At most, all they can get him on, on is lying on one question. Like, are you really going to spend money and time prosecuting a guy who lied on a questionnaire? The, the government doesn't usually do that. That's not worth their time. So that's why most of this simple perjury stuff is not prosecuted. Like if you lie on like a mob case or something for the mob, then you might be prosecuted for perjury. But that's a serious case. This is not a serious case in in uh, in the in the context, which is like, you know, getting one question wrong or lying on it. That's not something the prosecutors will go go hard against you because it's not worth their time. But nevertheless, we'll see what happens here. I think the judge will most likely approve this uh, request by the prosecutors to grant him immunity so he can answer whatever questions the judge has to say. And we can finally, you know, find out whether we're going to have to have another trial for Gillian Maxwell or whether he's, she's going to be locked up. Uh, you know, her conviction is going to stand. She was found guilty back in December 29th. Remember that. Uh, so she's still in prison. She hasn't gone anywhere. And uh, this is to see, this is a tactic by the defense to try to get a new trial. That's what this whole thing is about. That's why they want the juror questioned and everything, okay? So, but nevertheless, because of the Sixth Amendment, the judge has no choice but to do all this stuff. The Constitution makes things very complicated because the Constitution gives criminals rights, as uh, it gives rights to all citizens in America. OK. All right. So that's all I got to say for this video. Hope you guys got something out of it. As always, make sure to like the video, subscribe, hit the bell and press all for future videos so you get notifications. And if you want to support my show, you can do so on Patreon. There'll be a link in the description box down below. And your support is much appreciated. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. As always, peace.